Today, Apple finally launched the Air Power. Just kidding. Just give out the dream, kids. It's never coming. But the company did hold an event where it announced a revamped TV experience, an all-you-can-eat magazine service, and even a game subscription. But a piece of surprising news was that Apple is launching its very own credit card. That's right, Apple Card promises to make the most of the company's privacy, simplicity, and integration with your iPhone. You can sign up for the Goldman Sachs-backed card directly from your device, and it'll instantly appear in an updated version of the Wallet app. There, you can see your latest bills, transactions, and spending history. And interestingly enough, Apple is putting a ton of information about your interests and how your payments affect your bill right at your fingertips. Naturally, there are financial incentives to use a card. There are no fees of any kind, even late fees, and interest rates are supposedly low. And no worries if a store can't handle Apple Pay, there will also be a physical credit card made from titanium that has no credit card number, signature, or other potentially identifying information printed on it. As for the new Apple TV app, it'll start rolling out this May to iOS, tvOS, and eventually it'll come to smart TVs and Macs. Here, you'll find your iTunes purchases, Hulu, HBO, and even cable subscriptions in one place. But we all know, a streaming media service lives and dies by the quality of its original programming. And that's where Apple TV Plus comes in. Apple's track record so far on that front has been nothing but misses. But it's got some big guns waiting in the wings. The company has spent untold billions to lock in Oprah, J.J. Abrams, and Steven Spielberg, who is rebooting Amazing Stories. Plus, the company has hired a bunch of execs from more traditional studios like Sony Pictures, Universal, and Channel 4. There's still a bunch of unanswered questions, though. We don't have a price yet, and the launch window is a very vague fall. Will Apple TV Plus be a late but somewhat surprisingly successful foray into a new market like Apple Music? Or will it be a dismal failure like Ping? Obviously, time will tell. But one thing is certain, it's already more successful than AirPower. We'll see you tomorrow with more Engadget Today.